When we had last left, Team Bald. They did a whole bunch of stuff at the goblin camp and finally didn't find Halson, actually. <laughs> they fought some goblins on the way out. Halson kind of found himself and was perhaps back at the Emerald Grove, where they would now meet him, hopefully. <laughs> this is Baldur's Gate 3. Welcome back. Let's head on out. If not over. Oh, and I almost forgot. Also, uh, destroyed a giant spider and flew into the Underdark. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, wow. Look at all this. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Well, thank you. You can keep your coin. Thank you. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Oh. Okay, yeah, we'll see you there. Oh my gosh. You're gonna see us there? Fucking hell yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Patch together sack. What's inside? Oh, a cool hat. Crowning glory. When healing another, the wearer gains 1 to 6 HP. Wow, perfect. Legends say a giant elk and a druid once formed a powerful friendship. When the elk laid down his life for the druid, she crafted this helmet in honor of her beloved friend, so his beauty and compassion would live on forever. Oh my god! Okay. Well, I will take the money out and the potion. Um, there is a club in here too. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, if I'll do anything with that. A long, deep crack runs through the side of the wood, filled with crusted blood. Malachite. Parents slip these stones under their children's pillows to ward off nightmares. So, let's give this hat over here to Shadowheart, who I also forgot to mention. We got her back in the party! Swapped her out for Lazel because I was... The way in which I was playing Lazel was kind of almost as support who could also kind of do meleeing. You know, by w virtue of her little abilities and whatnot. I mean, well, not quite, because we were using so much precision attack. Mm -hmm. But I got Shadowheart with us now. And I have actually, as you can see, I've respect her, which may be some sort of horrifying sin. Uh, but, you know, I'm over it now. I'm over it. <laughs> right? At the start, I was like, do I really want to respect her from trickery? And I really wanted to respect her into being a light cleric. But that felt like a bridge too far. <laughs> so I settled on life. So now she's really good at like support and healing. And buffing everybody up. I even changed around her stats a whole bunch, right? I've every everything that I didn't want to do with Shadowheart, I've pretty much gone back on it. Right? I've <laughs> I've come around to thinking of a, of her in a different way, right? Well, not in that sense. Shadowheart isn't exactly... She's not exactly at the top of my list of folks to romance. Nothing against Shadowheart, but... Uh, as far as mechanically speaking, having her in our party, I think this is a, a good setup. Right? I gave her a bunch of... What's her name? Um, Lazel's equipment. Also, the mace that we took off of Minthara's corpse. Yeah. Pretty cool, I think. I can even show off her everything here, right? If you want to take a peek at that, if you're aware of what these things are. Yeah, and for her feet, I got Warcaster. Because, hey, you know, clerics, a lot of their good stuff require concentration, and she's liable to be in the thick of things. So I figured, hey, it would go hand in hand. Anyway, let Let's us continue going. over here. Good. I still want that idol. Oh god, it's right there. It's right fucking there. Do we think Halson is gonna be there too? Yeah. 
Seems that way. So this would be the perfect time to steal it if there were ever any time. If we get separated or need to break camp first, remember, move. find the river and follow it downstream. Oh. This kid is talking to Quos, the bird. Its feathers are so pretty. What do you think of that bird? Oh. You really, you talk for animals. You're, you love animals. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, and here's the other kids who we need to steal that thing for. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Okay. Let's see, let's do a quick save. Check in with everyone. Hello. I hate you. You killed all the goblins and now we can't practice swords anymore. Uh -oh. Okay. Zaki? Zaki? It smells bad out here. I want to go home. Mm. Umi? I left my sword in the cave. Don't tell, but I don't want to touch it again. Aww. What about the other sword on your back? I'll kiss you when you've stopped bleeding, you lummox. All of our taking stashed away for the journey. Are you all lummox? Yes, you are. Now, stop squirming. But to be sure, we need every last copper piece to get started in Baldur's Gate. Hmm. Okay, what about you, Eid? I'm glad you killed all the goblins. I hope you made them scared. I made them dead, actually. I, I killed them. I made them dead. Ricka. Heldrell didn't want us. And those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you... You risked your life for us. Okay. What about up here? Hello. Danis? Dani? Gods. It seems we might actually make it to the city now. Hope the neighbors are a bit more welcoming. <laughs> Why was that so foreboding? Okay, uh, what about you, Bex? I knew this would come right if we just stayed positive. Not that your blade didn't help, too. Okay. Hey, kids. Let's save before we talk to Mole in case we get locked into having not retrieved it yet, because I will get it and come back here. Mole? You do good work. If you can handle more than goblins, might be I'll have use of you in Baldur's Gate. I don't have the idol you were after. I'm looking to trade. Leave. I'm looking Always to trade. Always a deal to be done. Even now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? All right, cool. Cool, I love it. Let's see, get rid of that ring. I got a couple huge bags of shit. Can offload here, yep. This one? Well, how about the one Carlac is holding? It's a little too valuable. Unless there's something I want to buy here. Elixir of Bark Skin. Increases armor class to 16. Nah. Yeah, I think we're fine. Just get rid of some of the shit ones. Okay. Good. And then, where is... Here we are. Yep. Good trade. Gotta say, I'm loving doing this bag method. Okay. That'll do. Try not to die up there. I'll try. I'll be back with the goods, too. Come on. We're not in the clear yet. Give me a kiss. Keep sharp until we're standing Hold on cobbles in Baldur's Gate. I'll kiss Selfie? you Selfie? says we should say thank you. Aw. I never realized just how many fucking kids were here. Like, is half the population... No. Maybe! Is half the tiefling population here children? Huh. Hang on. Two, four... Six... 
eight, nine. Isn't there another somewhere? If we get separated, or need to bring there's a there's nine children. The river and follow it. That's quite a fucking few. Oh wait, there's another here. Hang on, did I miscount? Yes, Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, there are ten children. Even maybe more. Okay, and how many adults are there? Two, four, six, eight. Ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. About sixteen adult tieflings and ten or maybe even eleven, because I don't know if I saw this kid. So almost pretty damn close to a 50-50 split. That's wild. Right? Especially with their losses now. No, there's collectors in the city. They'll pay good coin for it, I swear. Fine, okay. But you're carrying it yourself. Hey, Melly, did I talk to you? Don't know why everyone's cheering. We're just going back on the road. Aww. Mattis? I'm glad you didn't die. No discounts once I'm running the wide at Boulder's Gate, mind. The wide? Okay, how about over here? What's up with you all? Yeah, at least a th probably about a third of their population is children. That is buck wild. Elegus. I expected goblins at our gate any moment. Glad to say that you made a prettier sight. All right. Well, thank you. You're saying I, I look pretty good, huh? All right, Asherak. Watching gods. While I was training children, you were out cutting down an entire goblin camp. Oh, what you were doing was important, too. Don't sell yourself short. Oh, Zevlor again. Hello. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? Oh, not yet. We'll see you there. Sorry, not to delay your... <laughs> your everything going on. Okay. Kaldani! You took care of the goblins. Nice work. Penderna. Oh, aren't you the one that was paralyzed in that shack? How about you, Gooey? I'm glad you came through it alive. We owe you more than we can repay. And you? I'd have put good coin on you running off into the sunset, but you did it. You stopped the goblins. Thank you. Penderna, your name reads like some kind of hygienic product. It. Right? Like a skin cream or hair conditioner or something. <laughs> Lacrisa? With the goblins dead, we might actually make it to Baldur's Gate. The more weapons we have on show. Oh, you actually read it out loud. Look, I'm still in Baldur's Gate 2 mode. Ah, right. Memnos? You've solved one problem for us. Guess it's on us to solve the next. What about you, Arca? You killed the goblins. Hope you made them suffer. Oh, right. Yeah, she's the one who executed the captive goblin. Okay. Let's see. Oh, how about the person who is up here? Oh, God! My, my camera! Ah! Oh, fuck. Interesting. <laughs> you, can just, you can just crash your camera into shit. Right? It's like a fucking car. Oh, look, yeah, you're still up here with that bugbear assassin. Hey, I don't know if you saw through your fucking telescope, but everybody's leaving, Nadira. What a mess. I wonder if the goblins have anything valuable on them. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay. Let's head on over this way. I spoke with Asherok. Yep. Good over here. All right. We should also have 
Carlax speak with these cows. Hungry ox, bored ox. I wonder what, where the tertiary one went. You know, the mysterious strange one. Hmm. If there's fighting, you run and you do not stop. Hello, Hi. hungry ox. Let us go. I wish to feel the road beneath my hooves. Taste the fresh grass. Aww. And bored ox. The younglings are a nuisance. But the road would not be the same without them. Thank you. Oh my god! Okay. Alright, what now? Aramis, did I already talk yes, to you? We made it somehow. Now we just need to get to Baldur's Gate. Okay, over here. Lock. One sorrow ended. The next soon to begin. Okay, take it easy, bud. Arabella? Boulder's Gate, we're coming. <laughs> okay. Kamira? We didn't die today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. Thanks to you. Okay. Wonder if the gods are watching me. And another life, Kamira has the, like, attitude of an adventurer herself. Torin? Thought you'd left us to our fate running off like you did. Glad I was wrong. Okay. What about you, Icaron? We couldn't have held them back on our own. Thank you. And over here, you three. Start from the left. Cal? Glad to see some goblin blood spilled for a change. I'm sick of running from those rats. Rowan? I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. What a prick. <laughs> okay. Leah? It was you, right? You took care of the goblins. I knew you were a good one. Okay, I don't know if I'm that good, though. Okay, let's trade off some more stuff here. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. Hmm. I'm just glad I could help. Any excuse to gut some goblins? I want to trade if you have anything good. Leave. I'm glad I could help. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Okay. I'd like to trade. Of course. Yeah, you still don't love me. Alright. Alright, this is shared inventory zone. Okay. Scroll on down here. Lovely. Okay. How about the shit that we just got? Or like prize package. Eh, I don't know. What's in this? Oh, the patch together sack. Yeah, here we go. Get rid of them. This pouch, that's our thief tools. This one, that's our Lego colored things. I guess key items, important stuff. All right. Looks good to me. Oh, a quarter staff. So let's also buy something for Gale to chew on. Hmm. God, I don't think we have anything here that we could buy. For Gale. Oh, here we are. Spell Thief. Rain Dancer. Nope, that doesn't work. Dragon's Grasp. Oh, this is perfect. It does deal an additional 1 to 4 slashing to burning targets. But I don't know how reliably we'll be able to inflict burning. Fire damage, sure, but burning? Even Karlak's ability that I <laughs> never fucking remember to use. Or have the opportunity to use. That's once per long rest, right? I think this is it. Gale can absorb this item's magic. We could also get Spell Thief. I don't know. I'm Part of me is assuming it's going to be Rule of Threes and we'll be good after this. Especially given some of the newer items we find. Uh, do not say that Gale can consume them. But I'll get both just in case. Okay. What about Shadowheart's Armor? What is this? 15. It's heavy. 
Yeah, this is chainmail plus one. Huh. Should I buy it? Feel as though I should. Yeah. I think I really should. Okay. I'm doing it. There you are. Also have light armor here, but I think Gale's already got... Yeah, pretty good light armor. There's medium. I could use medium. Nope, I've already got good medium. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're good. Unless we want to get some kind of, like, clothing item or whatever for Carlac. Or something else. How about some of these potions? I think these are all dyes. Yeah. Okay. Should I buy them? Muddy red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Swamp green or regular green? Ocean. Maybe muddy red is good. It's kind of like a... A brick red. So it's kind of like red mixed with brown. I fucking love brown, dude. Maybe I should. How much is it? It's kind of cheap. I'm buying it. Okay. There we are. That ought to do it. May you keep balance. Thank you, and, and you as well. Oh, what happened? I'm a little slowed down, carrying too much shit. Oh, I've got the chainmail on me. Here you go. Give that to Gale. Send this to camp. Give this to Carlac. Give that to Gale as well. Have my attention. Yeah, I guess if anything, he should equip Spell Thief. Oh, he's not proficient in it. It's a longbow. Oh, okay. Well, I guess he can suck it down later if he needs to. Gale, let's have words. Let's do a quick save. Oh, you'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate. The might condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten okay well I think we've got an artifact for you that is most gratifying to hear may I okay here you go oh oh shit oh here we go okay all of Gale's held items are on me actually sure yeah, how about this dragon's grasp? Here you go. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> Good gods. It's hardly done anything, huh? Yeah. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go on. You're among friends. There's no need, Gale. I trust you. This better be good. We wasted a small fortune on you already. <laughs> this better be good. We wasted a small fortune on you already. And the waste it might have been. Oh, great. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it, much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself, the Lady of Mysteries. Oh my God, you're a burnout mystery. magic addict. You burnt out big time. to me and she became my teacher. But why? In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? I... What? That's more of a shock to the... <laughs> uh... Bold. Few would dare to reduce a goddess to their muse. I don't believe a word of what you're saying. You... Did you really make love to a goddess, or are you just... Are you just a bit of a freak about her? <laughs> Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. 
body, mind and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Are you, are you saying literally or figuratively? <laughs> I can't fucking tell, really. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? You thought you knew better than Mistra. You're more a fool than I thought. I applaud your ambition. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? I'm intrigued. Tell me all. We can go over that later. Straight to the sordid, please. Eh, tell me everything. So he really did fuck her, huh? Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite, and his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Dude, he's totally Even the he's like a he's like a fucking addict, monsters. for real. Fractured then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms, until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Huh. I wonder what his motive was then. Was was he like... Was he like addicted to, I don't know, the vibe of the weave of magic? Before he met Miss Mistra? Or was Mistra the catalyst? Is it that it always reminds him of Mistra? Huh. What was the answer to that question? I guess he ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether then. So your grand plan was akin to emptying a cup of water in the sea. <laughs> Brilliant. I guess he ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether then. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Fuck! You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. What? You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth. It's claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Oh, God. Yank your hand away. How are you still alive? Gods, why show me this? All this time, I've been traveling with a monster. 
So the book is in him? You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a de of dread memory, a book bound and suddenly opened. Inside, there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Oh, it's like a curse was inside of it. Huh. Hmm. God, what if this is all bullshit? Him, him fucking Mistra. Right? What if he's lying as a cover-up because he's he's just trying to get another... Well, no, because this would be the how he got cursed. Right? Hmm. Maybe it made his, his like, interest and addiction to it, like, manifest in a more physical way. It's, we're definitely dealing with addiction here because, like, you know, props to the voice actor and director. But, like, when he was delivering uh, whatever line it was up here when he was talking about, like, one of them, the way in which he, like, he inhaled as if it was, like, a substance to be abused, you know? And, of course, the ways in which he'd been talking. But here, you know, it's all coming together, really. Okay. Okay. Why show me this? How are you still alive? Why show me this? I'm sorry, but I had to. After all, this is only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Go on. You will die. I don't think I want to hear this. Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. And it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Holy shit. Man, what are the chances we got two motherfuckers in our party with wild shit going on inside of their chests? <laughs> right? What the fuck, Shadowheart? Listen, I know it's in your name, but it's... Do you got something going on in there, too? <laughs> the, the irony of the situation would be that the character whose name is Shadowheart actually doesn't have any kind of wild shit going on inside of her chest. <laughs> uh, is there nothing we can do? I trusted you, Gale. You should have told me right away. Unbelievable. Do you ever think what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? By rights, I should kill you. Is there nothing we can do? I mean, by rights, I should kill him. Right? This, this is such a, like emotionally driven in the moment sort of response right this this sort of response very much shows like the folly of being evil as it were right like this is the response you pick if you're a very fucked up evil character right but in it uh, in and of itself it shows the folly of it in that um by rights we should all be killed you know uh even beyond his extraneous circumstances with what's inside of him we all have something inside of us in our heads not necessarily our chest but in our heads that we should be killed for right is there nothing we can do we might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner we might cross paths with a miracle around the bend then again we might not all of this it must feel like a betrayal Say the word, and we'll part ways. I would hear what the others say first. We've come this far together. We'll continue on together. That is how it will be. Yeah, we've all got the tadpole, right? We've all got that. We're all already a threat in some way. As far as we know. 
If we were to part ways, where would you go? You pose too grave a threat. This is goodbye, Gail. I would hear what the others have to say first. No, we've come this far together. We will continue on together. That is how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Oh, that's well Either way, said. I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. <laughs> I do like the characterization of him being kind of like a fucking, like, diva, right? He makes such a big deal of everything, right? He does- he gives, like, a speech to the rest of the party. I understand if none of you- if you are wary of me, but I'm humbled by those of you who are not. <laughs> okay. Sure. Let's see here. With haste. Can we check in with the others? Shadowheart, what do you think of that? Sir Gale's been walking around this whole time with some sort of magic bomb in his chest. I'm not normally one to begrudge someone their secrets, but that's something I should know. Yeah, come on! What, I respect you from trickery into life and all of a sudden? Come- you, listen, I would've- I would've heard you out a little bit more if you didn't, like, fuck yourself there, shoot yourself in the foot. Huh. I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up? I don't think I've okay, ever had same, a same. confidant quite like you. All right, see ya. Carlac, what do you think? Why are we slowing down? Oh. Will we still not get an answer for this? Mizora said you fit the criteria for Will to Hunt. What did she mean? Help me kill those paladins of Tear. Okay, and I'll okay. tell you a bit. <laughs> Yeah, Will, I'm... <laughs> you know, not to go out on a little wild limb and wild theory. Did I just call him Will? <laughs> Gail? <laughs> Gail, sorry, sorry, Gail. Gail. Uh, not to get a little wild here, but I think Carlac might have something going on with her heart, too. <laughs> just We'll just call it a hunch. Oh, look. Free bag. What Hell yes. For me? There we are. Still alive. I guess all this shit is free now. Now, interestingly, this one has decided to remain. Soldier. Strange hey. ox. Moo. Oh. She even has speak with animals on. Moo. Huh. Never a dull moment. Another step forward. Can I pickpocket you? you? Better be cautious. I just want a little look. Uh oh. Impossible. It is impo I mean, I guess it has no pockets. Fair enough. Don't be shy. Best think ahead or I'm lost. Hey, good looking. There we go. Good. What is this? Just metallic gloves, strength saving throws. Okay. What's next? Do you have any? Yeah, you do. Also strength. Let me work my magic. Do I have any gloves on? Oh yeah, I took the missile snaring ones. And they're medium, so we can't give it to Gale. Don't burn yourself. Okay. No one stopped me yet. Swift as my feet can carry me. Sure. Okay, well, I'm assuming Halson will be down here. They are our guests until yep. to leave. As I said the day they arrived. They blinded you to truth. Outsiders bring only chaos. And what have you brought? Harmony? Balance? Uh, hey you two. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place. Forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Go 
goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence! The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay, but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Helsin. That's all? She tried to imprison a child. You'll have your hands full with her. She shows great spirit, to put it mildly. No need to be so harsh. Kaga acted out of concern. You were too lenient. There's bad blood between tieflings and druids because of her. I like that. Let's see, what exactly all did they say? Hmm. A novice and new. You were too lenient. There's bad blood between tieflings and druids because of her. Spilled blood will not write bad blood. Allow me to deal with my own. I still have need of her. You That's fair. I mean, I didn't why. imply that you should kill her. <laughs> enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. I owe you my thanks. And an introduction. I am Halson, first druid of the Emerald Grove. And I sense you have a problem you seek my help with. Oh yeah, we haven't had a, a ball trip moment. Yeah, I have a Mind Flayer parasite inside my head. I want your help removing it. I don't know what you mean. What problem? Wait, how did you get here? Wait, how did you get here? I was an unwilling guest of the goblins. But your efforts left them in disarray. And I was able to escape. Well, I'm just glad you knew it was me. Alright. I don't know what you mean! What problem? That problem. You're infected with the Mind Flare spawn, aren't you? Oak Father preserve you, child. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. Uh, how is this possible? Wait, Halson doesn't have a tadpole? Huh. I don't know. I escaped from an illithid ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted. Let's say that. Perhaps. But I, I doubt it, I want though. to place all my faith in blind luck. Yeah, I think there was a lot it's more no intent behind it. that we found each other, I'll wager. <laughs> You're after a cure for this parasite. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic. I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. At the goblin camp, I hoped to find a way to remove the tadpoles. I failed, but I did find the next best thing. I found out where they come from. Me too, and not I will do what I can to help you. Let us speak tomorrow. You and I both have matters to see to first. As for what you've done for the grove, speak to Wrath. He will see to your reward. I hope this grove of yours was worth the bloodshed. What happens next? Leave. What happens next? The journey to Moonrise Towers. And all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest. Celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. Shelter here. It is the will of Sylvanus. Sylvanus would not command us to invite rot into our midst. Oh, child. You have drifted far from the Oak Father's teachings. Kaga? Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. Okay. Magrin the bear? 
You know, by Mogren's fiery bosom, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't talk to you, right. Harlock. No? Talk. This bear does not want to talk? Lost in thought. Making me sweat. Okay, well. Wait a minute, can Carlac talk to the familiar? No. <laughs> she can it's throw fun. it, though. Okay, did we ever read this scribbled note? I think we did. Yeah. Keep away from Tuffet. I can take it. Can't help but take it. Add it to my collection. Sort by type again. Get that reorganized. Okay. I'd love to, thanks. Bosk. There we go. You're curious. You've got a great many odors about you. What happened to you? Oh. This is from Carlac. That's a complicated story I doubt you'd understand. Tell him about the horrors of the Blood War and your escape from Avernus. Late. Leave. No, I think... I think actually Bosk would understand. Tell him about the horrors of the Blood War and your escape from Avernus. He listens, rapt, hanging on every word. Dude, That's he loves frightening. It. I'm glad you made it here. Things are strange right now, but it's no... Uh, what you call it? Uh, blood War. Dude, Bosk owns. Bosk is so cool. Okay. Let's go down here, talk to this friendly bear. And we'll talk to Tuffet as well. We did already check all the way down here, huh? Yeah, I think so. At least to the best of my ability. Ormn. He's back! You brought him back! Oh yeah, you were the one who was so sad. Aww. Okay. Oh, this is actually a person right here. <laughs> okay. Sure. As well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Let's see. Alar. Things are starting to calm down, thanks to you. We can finally get some rest. Look, I can take your Autumn Crocus, Crocus, an antidote. Don't waste a step. Yeah, all this stuff I can just take. Except for that. Examine. A wooden statue of Sylvanus, the Oak Father, god of nature and its impartial fairness. Those near the idol seem to better understand the natural world. That seems like it would be very interesting for those kids to have. <laughs> Mino, Mino. I hear the goblin leaders met their ends. Unfortunate for them, but very fortunate for the grove. And Tuffet. Oh, I could go for a good meal. <laughs> okay. Marching. About this bird, Topaz. Hello. The bird is singing as loudly as his lungs will allow, practicing fervently. Oh, cuts itself off. It was not me who did that. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Carrick. We wasted so much time fighting each other. Sylvanus taught us a lesson by letting an outsider save us. All right. Light on my feet. And what about you? Apicusis. We're free of the goblins, but the grove is changed. Wounded. The days ahead won't be easy. I'm glad we have Halsin to guide us. Alright. Plaque here. Did I ever inspect this? I must have, right? By Sylvanus, the forest father. 
We are granted balance. Oh, this was the horny boar. <sighs> I thought you were housey. The boar prances around, haunches <laughs> clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate. <laughs> okay. Let's ride. Good. No time to rest. How about over here? Yorna? I wasn't sure about you at first. Thought you might be trouble. I was very wrong. Huh. How much farther can I go? And what about you, Tahan? You think you saved us? You just prolonged the inevitable. Sooner or later, other outsiders will bring trouble to the grove. Then you tend to the problem in a similar fashion. You fix it again. That's life. Life is a series of problems that require fixing. <laughs> there is... It is endless maintenance until the end. Okay. Inway. I know you stopped the goblins, but... I can't stop looking over my shoulder. It makes it hard to sleep at night. Come on. You're surrounded by bears and wolves and pigs and birds and shit. They'll smell or hear something. Think a goblin's gonna pass a stealth check? Alar. You look oh, I as to tired you. as I feel. Okay. I think that's everyone out here then. We did not speak with Kaga, however. Alright. Well, now would be the time to try and do it. Let's see. Will they immediately all get mad at me as soon as I do it? Because if that's the case, we need to do a, like, hit-and-run situation. Right? I don't need any attention right now. Softer than a whisper. Yoink. The oh, shit. will not stand by while you abscond with their idol. Your next move will decide your fate. Apologize, you were mistaken to touch the holy re their holy relic. Oh, sorry. You are forgiven. This time. Okay. Oh shit, this fucker is looking right here. Hmm. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Can I move it? No, because that person is looking right here. Okay. Huh. Charmed, I'm sure. Gail, will you talk to this lovely druid here and get them to look the other fucking way? Before it's too late. I know you stopped the goblins, but I can't stop looking over my shoulder. Oh shit. Okay. We can do that. And then if I take it now, I'm not in the red, so I should be able to, huh? Breathe deep and move. <laughs> Gail, get over here! Get over here, Gail! Get out of conversation with that asshole! <laughs> Gail, we need to go, we need to go! Makes it hard to- Yep, yep. I, it's- it's I've truly terrible. What is the blessing? Has proficiency in nature and animal handling. Need to find a way <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> Fucking awesome. God, I thought we, we would have to do a whole lot to learn how to steal it. But maybe it was just that simple. Okay, let's go on up here. Great. God, hopefully they don't have a UI where they can tell that they're all getting in losing this buff. <laughs> we did it. Okay. Come on. 
Give me a kiss. Mole, you know what? Still. You're going to love what I got in my bag here. Yes? I've got places to be. I'm sure you do too. I do, but here, the idol you wanted. Thanks. See you in Baldur's Gate, I hope. Now scram. Before I get emotional. Aww. All of our taking Reward. For the journey. We gave the sacred idol to Mole. She yes, promised to repay us in Baldur's myself. Gate. Be you sure. receive. Ring of Protection. Whoa! Oh my goodness, we got a little Ring of Protection. <laughs> These were quite nice in early game Baldur's Gate 1. Armor class plus one, saving throw plus one. Elegant motifs of warding. Shields, targes, bucklers, and buffers are faintly impressed into the metal round of the ring. If there's fighting, you run, and you Great. Do well, I should probably equip that on one of us. Now it's good to be alive. Let's see. Probably oh, myself, weird. because I have less Can't ability to mitigate damage than Karlak does, right? Quite ready for you. And Gale will be at range. Mm. Shadowheart will probably be fine, because she has self-healing out the butt. Well, well, I think well. it's either me or Karlak, and I'm leaning toward me. Yep. That's the way it goes. Cool. That <laughs> fucking rocks. God, I love stealing shit. <laughs> okay. Let's be on my way. Let's do a quick save. If we get separated or need to break camp fast, remember, find the river. Head on over here. Good. Let's see over this way. Confront the paladins. Over here. Emerald Grove. Okay. Storage chest here. I mean, ain't nobody here anymore, huh? Oh. Oh, the strange fucking ox. Can it report my fucking crime? I will steal Let's the illustrated adventures of Balderon. Training shield any good? Oh, you can actually wield it. A light wooden shield, full of dents and cuts. Huh. A practice sword. Can you beat Baldur's Gate 3 using a practice sword and training shield? <laughs> it's a new challenge run video. <laughs> Though carefully coated in a thick layer of varnish, the edges of the wooden sword are already starting to chip away. Okay, let's look in the chest. Look, if they're just leaving all this behind. Okay. There's someone still here? On my way. Hold up, who is still here? All right. I can take this, can't I? Yep. Ooh, look at all this shit. Carlac, take all that. I'll steal it so you don't have to. There we go. Leather bracers. Oh, okay. I'll take that too. Free for the taking. Look, who would get this? The druids? <laughs> they may as well have killed these tieflings. Now, this back area we can now actually go in. Right? Just There's no one here? Don't okay. Get trouble now. Lock pick. How about some guidance? Here we are. And let's do a wonderful roll here. Great. Who is that talking? Someone misses their fortune. Druid's Ledger. Okay. Yeah, they're near depleted. We did read that. Put it in the book bag. Great. 
Oh my gosh, the money back guarantee. Though I didn't even spend any... Any of these things. Okay. Looks empty. Approachable east, I'll take it. A backpack, perfect. With some money too. Soul coins, a treaties. Send these to camp. Wicker basket. Ignoble hat. Foppish and fluffy, and built for just the right sort of dome accustomed to having it set upon the head by other people. <laughs> okay. I gotta take that. Did we read about this? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we did. Okay. Place that up there in the book bag. Alchemist cabinet, we had already looted. Pantry chest, same. Oh, a whole bunch of sun melons. Great. Oh my gosh. Fruit galore. Okay. You know, I didn't read all the descriptions on those various fruits. Maybe I should have. I just assumed they'd be like, yeah, it's a strawberry. Yeah, this is a lemon. What do you- <laughs> what do you want? Pear. Properly ripened. The sugary pear has few culinary rivals. <laughs> okay. Unripe. It contains all the appeal of a rose unwashed hide. Yeah. I would say that's also true of the ripened ones. Let's send these to camp. I am a pear hater. There we are. I firmly hold the belief that... When regarding pears, there is no such thing as a good pear. Pears are just... What path lies before me? Bad apples. Right? Everything a pear can do, there is an apple that could do it better. Okay. The Annals of Baldur's Gate. If I read this, I don't know that I have. Yeah. Preface. Centuries ago, a young man sailed from the village of Grey Harbor. Where he went, what he saw, and the deeds he accomplished are simple legends today. But the wealth he returned with years later is a hard fact. Balderon made Grey Harbor rich. His gold built docks, funded businesses, and raised strong walls to protect it all. One of the gates into this flourishing city was named in his honor, but so great was the wealth that flowed through it that the name of the gate became more famous than the village that started it all. The name Grey Harbor has been relegated to dusty history books and ancient maps. But Baldur's Gate, that name is on the lips of every traveler in Faerun. Huh. Is that new lore? Or maybe that's like from a novelization or something? Because that's certainly... I don't remember any of that being in Baldur's Gate 1 or 2. Or maybe a comic book. I think there was a bunch of comic books, too. Okay. Good. Let's see who's down here. Damn druids. Who uses wooden tools? Damon? Traitor. God, has there been a smithy in this town the whole fucking time? <laughs> Hello! I I sensed an infernal around here. But you aren't from Elturel. What's your story? Oh, was I controlling Carla? A time in the house. 
Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The Devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. Hmm. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. Holy shit. You, oh! You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help. But I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Absolutely. Let's see what he can do. We'll keep our eyes open for some iron. Personally, I'd like to know what infernal iron is worth. Could we see your wares? Leave. Huh. Yeah, let's see what he can do. Hmm. It looks like it went missing. I'll be here if you find it. <laughs> oh shit, it's because I stole it from him. It's because I fucking stole it from him. Okay. Can I go to camp? Let's see. Well, if I go to camp, will everybody turn up and it'll be like, Hey, we're having the big party or whatever. Or is that only if I long rest? Let's just go to camp and see. Worst case, I quick load. Okay. So far, so good. I think we only need rest. And that should- that should be fine. Okay. Let's see, where did I put that shit? There we go. Should we get both of them? Probably. Wait, what? can't use this right now. I want to pick it up, not use it. There we go. Thank you. God, the music is so fucking good all the fucking time in this game, huh? <laughs> it, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Okay. Let's leave camp. Hey, can you do anything with these? Look, I happen to have two somehow. How fast the search? I found the infernal iron you mentioned. Would you be able to take a look at Carlac's heart? Let me see your wares. I found the infernal iron you mentioned. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it and that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. How- what? What's happening? That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. 
could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Karlak, did we just well, we find a ripper dock? All right, let's have words. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Man, hot. All right, let's find some evil for you to smack then. We'll find more infernal iron and get you that second upgrade too. Still can't touch you though. <laughs> Should we be a little perverse? Absolutely. I still can't touch you, though. Do you want to? Yeah, of course I do. Sure, I'd love to spar with you. Not particularly. I was just pointing it out. Of course I do. I'd like that. Now, let's find that infernal iron before I overheat. Hell yeah. All right, let's see. What else do you have you normally? Us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. Let me see your wares. I wish I had better. But this is all I have. Oh my god, you've got a lot of cool shit, actually. <laughs> okay. Safeguard shield, saving throw plus one. Sacred mail? You take one less slashing damage. Ring mail armor plus one. Body aid. Plus one to strength saving throws. Chain mail plus one. Superior material. Isn't this also what, um, you're wearing already? Or no, it's what you were about to be wearing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Change shirt, medium. Hide armor. Leather armor. Plus one to stealth checks. Is that better for you? No. Okay, how about these weapons? A rapier, plus one. Six to thirteen, but to wield it, dual wield. We need that one perk, right? It being a rapier. Hmm. Is it worth it for plus two on the die roll? I feel like it might be. You know? I feel like it might be. Especially for the offhand. Morningstar plus one, main hand only. When you miss an attack, you deal- Oh, okay, you only get that effect if it's on your main hand. I see. Oh, and a hand crossbow plus one. Shit! God, that would have been so nice to have had earlier. Hand axe plus one? Eh. Hunting shortbow? Hunter's mark. Advantage against monstrosity type enemies. Hunter's Mark. Mark a creature as your quarry to deal. Oh, is this ranger shit? To deal an additional 1 to 6 piercing damage whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. If the target dies before the spell ends, you can mark a new creature without expending a spell slot. Okay. And it lasts until long rest, so it may as well be permanent then. Right? Oh, no, it's concentration. So the only way you would lose is if you lost out on concentration. Gotcha. Okay. That's fascinating. Light crossbow. Two-handed. Light hammer. Eh. I kind of want the rapier. It's got to be said. Huh. Should I buy the rapier with the thinking that maybe I'll get that other perk? I don't know. Maybe I should. It's not that expensive. You know, it's not that expensive. I should definitely get the hand crossbow plus one. Yeah, I'm gonna get the rapier just in case. Worst case, we just sell it later, huh? Okay. 
Good. Make Tamora's luck twist your way. And then... Yeah, because if I equip that, yeah, we can't even have an offhand. Which I most certainly do want an offhand weapon. Okay. And then, I guess we'll send this other Infernal Iron back to camp. And I will equip this crossbow plus one. Good. Okay. Send that to camp. Alright. Lovely. Sure. Breastplate plus one. Scorpion helmet. What are these things? Breastplate plus one. Medium armor. What is scorpion, uh... Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, it's not cool at all. It's just light armor with a dex save throw. Hardily constructed boots. Okay, no special effect there either. Alright, how about over this way? An adventurer's chest. Who all was over here? God, we apparently never looked at this corner of the town. <laughs> okay. Sure. I'm gonna pick it open. It's legal for me to do this. Good. Okay. Some reeds. I'll take all that. Inns and guest houses. I'll take that. Is this an inn? Pitcher of beer. Is that food for the camp? It is. Okay. About over here is wooden barrels. Yep. Potato. Sending it to camp. Pear. Okay. Carlac. We have you take all these things. Hmm. Okay. No one stopped me yet. Head on up here. Whoa! Look at this wild back area. What the hell? Okay, there might be a secret over there. Can't risk being in open view. Can I take these books? Think so. The Realm According to Brumpu. Reading material for later. Okay. Open crate. Yeah, no fucking shortage of junk to read. Never wanted the easy Let's go path. down around the back here before I forget. Look, there's very clearly a little secret something. I don't know what it is, but there's something. There's like a route and everything. Yeah, what is this? Can you actually go all the way down there? No, it's a chasm, huh? And what's in this? Nothing. Okay. Can't get there. Can I jump it? I can. Quick save in case I die instantly. Looks like I can jump it. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Well, what the fuck? Get my sh sword re-equipped. All right. Sure. How about this little area? Lots of foods and shit. Man, there was a whole vendor area that I never went to. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh. Look at this. Free elixirs. That's a friendly looking shadow. What do we have here? 
here we go. Volo's complete guide to the behavior of nymphs. A toad teapot? Is that valuable? It looks cool. God, yeah, it looks cool. Incredibly lifelike, down to the last wart. Wart, wart, wart. Okay. Silver glass. Silver cups are the favored vessel when making offerings of milk to Saluna. Some folk even believing the metal to be the Moon Maiden's hardened tears. Send that egg to camp. Take another cup. Okay. Wonder if the gods are watching me. More over here. A lot of food. Good. Okay. Just out of range of that smithy. Look, we can take this stuff, though. It's just regular bottles. Okay. Sure. Let's see. Elixir of Hill Giant Strength. Increase your strength to 21. Why 21 and not 22 or 20? Weird. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's move some stuff around. Actually, you know what? Let's call the video and I'll move some stuff around in between videos so I get unencumbered after taking all that shit, right? Yeah, look, there's even another place here that we could look at. Yeah, I guess we just completely skipped over and missed this. <laughs> I think it's just vendor places, huh? Oh, man, look, there's even more here. Look, I can't help myself. Okay. Great. Yeah, when next we return, we will go inside of this stone door here. We'll go inside of the interior portion of the, what do you call it? The druid super zone here, right? And we also need to track down Karlak's situation. Yeah. And, of course, we need to do a long rest. We're all out of short ones. I mean, that said, I think we have a little extra juice left. Yeah. We could manage. We could manage it. But it'll be a little... close. Right. Now, Karlak is trapped down here. Alright, what now? There we go. Okay, yeah. When next we return, all that and hopefully more. Hopefully we don't, like, proceed to the next zone. Hopefully you, like, opt into that. I feel like you opt into it, or you, like, cross at a border or something. Because... What the hell? We have the entirety of the Underdark to tend to. You know? I don't know how the fuck zones and shit work in this. Alright. Until next time, please take care of each other.